And in the same vein, South Korean government is to grant over $12 million to Nigerian government for the building of solar energy electricity generation in the country. The South Korean ambassador to Nigeria, Ambassador Kim yong che stated this during a meeting with the Senate Committee on Power in Abuja. He said the project is intended to reduce electricity deficit in Nigeria. Senate correspondent covered the session and now completes the story. The gathering is to, amongst other matters, provide lasting solutions to the issue of power supply in the country, especially in rural areas where the brunt of epileptic power supply is prevalent. South Korean ambassador to Nigeria says the $12 million given to Nigeria to cushion the effect of inadequate power in Nigeria is not a loan but a grant provided to support the Nigerian government to provide electricity in rural communities. So I want to encourage the uh, chairman and the committee members to look how to utilize the Korean uh, government EDC fund, especially uh, in renewable sector. Uh, that's what I want. Another uh, part of our ODA is uh, grant time. Grant time, we just uh, give them, we do not request refund. So this project, this mini uh, grid project is funded by a Korean government uh, grant type of ODA. Uh, so uh, Nigerian government uh, does not need to repay uh, cost. Respondent, Chairman Senate Committee on Power, appealed to the ambassador to consider prioritizing such projects in rural areas where it would directly affect on the people. If we want this to have impact on rural communities, uh, we would want some of these mini grid to be built in typical villages such as your village when you were young, like you said, where there is no light, there might not be light in those places for the next 10 years. So when you build that, uh, some of this mini grid in those areas, uh, the impact will be more uh, far reaching than building it in Abuja where somebody can easily be connected through the uh, already existing network that we have. Despite various interventions by the federal government to improve power supply in the country, a recent World Bank report has revealed that annually Nigeria's economy still loses between 7 trillion naira and 10 trillion 